Alright then, so now we've seen how to make route handlers for requests to different route paths and how we can send views as a response to those requests. And currently inside our views, we just have very static HTML templates without any data inside them. Now sometimes we will need to output data within a view and that data normally comes from a database and then gets injected into the view. For example, eventually on the index view inside the ninjas folder we're going to show a list of ninjas and those ninjas are going to come from a database and then get injected into the view so we can use them. Now we don't have a database connection or data table set up yet so we're not going to be fetching any such data just yet but I still want to show you how we can pass data into a view for now and then access it within the view itself and later on we will be using the database. So then to do this we need to go to the web routes file where we return a view and as a second argument to the view function we can pass in an array of key value pairs and then automatically within this view we get access to those values as variables where the variable name is whatever the key is. For example I could add the key of greeting and I could set the value of that key to be something like hello. Then inside the view itself I could access the hello value by using a variable called greeting which is the name of the key. So if we head back to the index view let's try outputting that variable somewhere in the template like inside a p tag. Now when we're using blade we can output a dynamic value by using double curly braces and then whatever that value is. Now this could be a variable or it could be an expression. In our case we want to output the greeting variable that got passed into the view but this could also be any other kind of expression that returns a value which then gets output here in the template when it's rendered. And the value also gets sanitized by Blade as well to escape special characters. So this Blade syntax is kind of like using an echo statement along with the HTML special cards function to output a value. But clearly it's much easier this way and it looks cleaner too. So if we view this in a browser, refresh the page, hopefully we're going to see hello right here, which we do. And that was the value of the greeting variable. Awesome. All right. So the next thing I want to do is pass through another item here, which I'm going to call ninjas. And I want the value of this to be an array of ninjas that we can then output inside the template. So what I'm going to do is actually paste in this array right here as a variable called ninjas. And this ninjas variable is just an array of arrays. So each ninja is an array in itself with a key of name, a key of skill, which is a number, and a key of ID. So we want to pass this ninjas variable in as the value to this. So let's do that. So dollar sign ninjas. And then now we can access this ninjas value inside the template. So I want to do this now and I want to output an li tag for each of these ninjas. So two in total. Now later on when we learn about blade directives you're going to see there's a much easier way to do this but for now I just want to manually create two li tags. So let me delete this content right here and instead I'm going to do an anchor tag right here. We'll leave the href for now. Uh, we'll come back to that but inside here I want to output the ninja name. So again double curly braces then we can access the ninjas variable which is the key name remember this thing right here ninjas. And then from that, I want to access the first element inside it because remember, we have two ninjas, this one and this one. So we're accessing the first one first of all. And then from that, we want the name key. All right. So we're grabbing the first ninja and then grabbing the name key. All right. So I'm also going to do this for the second one. So let me copy this and paste it down here. And this time it's going to be element number one, which is the second array. So we should see Mario, then Luigi. All right, and now in a browser, if we refresh, we can see Mario and Luigi. Awesome. Okay, so now we know how to pass data into views. The next thing I want to look at is something called route wildcards, otherwise known as route parameters. And these both refer to the part of a route path which is dynamic and can change. So for example, we're going to set up a new route handler by copying the forward slash ninjas one, and we're just going to paste it down here. Then for the path, I want it to be forward slash ninjas, but then after that forward slash again, followed by some ID where the ID part references the ID of a ninja, which could be one or two or three and so forth. So that part 
of the route, the ID, is dynamic. It can be different values. So we'd call that part of the path a wildcard. And the way we denote that in the path itself here is by using curly braces and then giving this wildcard a name. In this example, we'll call it ID. Now, Laravel captures this wildcard when the request comes into the server and it provides it to us as an argument inside this function. So I could register that wildcard argument by saying $ID right here. And then we could use the ID value within the function itself. Now, as a view, we're going to shortly make one called show inside the ninjas folder. So we'll say ninjas.show as an argument right here when we return a view. And then we're also going to pass in the ID to this view as a second argument. So we'll name the key ID and the value of that is just going to be dollar sign ID, which is the argument we get access to. So then now if we visit forward slash ninjas forward slash one, for example, in the browser, it triggers this route handler and it captures the one value, which is the wildcard. And then that value one is passed into the handler function as the ID argument, which we then forward into the view. Likewise, if we visit forward slash ninjas forward slash two in the browser, then it still triggers this same route handler. But this time the ID wildcard is two. And therefore, this ID argument has a value of two, which then gets passed into the view. So this route handler is going to be triggered for any ID value that matches this route path. And that ID value is going to be captured and passed into the view. Now, eventually, we might use the ID within this function to fetch a record from the database with the ID, and then we'd pass that record into the view instead. But we'll do that later in the course. For now, let's try making the show view inside the ninjas folder and outputting this ID variable. So let's go over here and make a new file, and we'll call this show.blade.php. Inside here, we're going to type out doc and then tab to boilerplate this new view. We'll update the title to be ninja network, if I can spell it, there we go. And then for the body, we'll do an H2 that says ninja ID. And then we want to output the ID value that we pass through. So we can just reference that by using double curly braces to output a dynamic value and then dollar sign ID. All right, so we'll try this out in a minute. But before we do that, I want to go back to the index page and I want to link each ninja to this route forward slash ninjas forward slash ID, and we can use the ID from each ninja. So let's go back over here, and then the href is forward slash ninjas. Is it forward slash ninjas or ninja? Yeah, ninjas, good. And then forward slash the ID. So we want to output a dynamic value. Again, we can use double curly braces, and we get the ID from the individual ninja. So we can copy this and output it right here, and then I'm going to change this to ID like so. All right, then. So I'm going to do the same thing for the href down here at the bottom. Let me paste that in. And this time we want to change that to one. All right, then. So now this should point to forward slash ninjas forward slash one. And then this one forward slash ninjas forward slash two, because they are the IDs of these two ninjas. All right, so let's see if this works. OK, so now if I click on this one, Mario, we go to forward slash ninjas forward slash one and we show the ID right here. And this is the show view, by the way. And then if we click on Luigi, we go to forward slash ninjas forward slash two. And again, we show the ID on the show view. So everything here is working awesome. OK, then, my friend, so that is how we use route wildcards and also how we pass data into views as well. In the next lesson, we're going to learn more about blade syntax.